Well, Slush, let me start by asking you this. What would the world look like if we had a medicine that could treat chronic diseases and their frailty of an aging population? What would the world look like if we had longer and healthier lifespans? Is it in fact possible to push the boundaries of the aging human body? Well, stem cell therapies are believed to realize just that. In fact, <clears throat> stem cell therapies have the potential to do for chronic diseases what antibiotics did to infectious diseases. But let's, let's get back to facts and clinical studies shortly. I must ask you, have you heard the Joe Rogan interview with famous actor Mel Gibson? Anyone? Mel Gibson talks about his 92-year-old dying father with a hip problem being wheeled into a stem cell clinic in Panama. In fact, Hutton Gibson is probably the world's most well-known patient ever receiving mesenchymal stem cells. After treatment, Hutton Gibson could actually walk out of the stem cell clinic with a documented improvement to his heart condition, his kidneys, his cognitive function, even to his eyesight. But let's get back to facts. Let me tell you about mesenchymal stem cells, also known as mesenchymal stromal cells, or for us in the business, we just call them MSCs. MSCs are a multipotent type of stem cell that can work wonders in your bodies. They have three main advantages. They are anti-inflammatory and can stop inflammation. They are, and this is a difficult word, immunomodulatory, meaning that they can inhibit disadvantaged reactions of your immune system. And this is really cool. They also are actually regenerative and can help repair damaged tissue. In clinical trials, they've been used for many different things. For transplanted patients, they have been used against reaction reactions. And that is actually where our chief scientist, Katharina Leblanc of Karolinska Institute, started her studies of the cells more than 20 years ago. More recently, Katharina's cells has been used in a clinical trial for seven patients with severe lung failure after COVID. Severe lung failure is a condition with an expected 20% or higher mortality rate. Out of the seven people treated, all of them survived. They actually came out with a better life quality than other survivors of COVID. Okay, so reaction reactions, lung failure, COVID-19, limited indications, you may say. Well, let's talk about arthritis, the fourth leading cause of disability in the world. For arthritis, the cells can give major relief to patients. In fact, one of my investors was able to take part in a clinical trial with MSCs. Before the clinical trial, he had a handicapping knee arthritis and had a problem to walk. After treatment, he's now playing tennis every week. Okay, so what is the flip side of these treatments? Are they dangerous? Can you get cancer? The answer is no. The cells are actually safe. And the list of potentially treatable diseases is almost endless. In fact, I could throw a dart on an organogram of a hospital and I can tell you how I believe that the cells can be used in that clinic. But even cooler, even though we can use them on almost anything with a small or very big benefit, the cells, they're safe. In fact, over the past 20 years, more than 20,000 patients have been treated and there has been no case of cancer. With the cells cell gloves work with, we take them from the hip, bone marrow of healthy voluntary adults. There has been no severe adverse effects reported at all. Okay, so this sounds a bit too good to be true, right? What is the catch? And you're right, there is not only a catch, there are several. First of all, the cells are extremely expensive. And even if you have the money, there's a problem with supply. There are actually no cells to get. 
And even if you have the money and you find a supplier willing to sell you the cells, you still have the issue of an unreliable quality. So what are the consequences of this? Well, you remember the seven patients treated with severe lung failure? They were supposed to have been 10. But the researchers were not able to procure the cells from anywhere in the world. Three patients didn't get treatment. Due to these facts, and some more, the field of MSCs is caught in a catch-22. To solve this, in 2021, once again, Katarina Leblanc, a global authority on MSCs, together with Takura, founded by Sweden's leading healthcare entrepreneur, Per Boltesson, and Norsken Foundation, the impact incubator on steroids, decided to change the world. Change the world by founding cell collabs. Founding cell collabs with a mission to set up industrial scale production of MSCs, to drive down costs for research and treatment for everyone. Since then, we have built our first production facility. We have recruited top talents from around the world. We have transferred the production process from Karolinska Institute in Karolinska University Hospital to cell collabs. We have scaled the process by more than 100 times. We have run confirmatory test batches and we have applied to the Swedish MPA, Läkemedelsverket, for a production permit. And we are ready to start. On the day of approval of our permit, Cell Collabs will be the world's largest producer of clinical grade MSCs. As you can see, this is obviously something that we're very proud of. In fact, it's a position that we will continue to nurture by continuously increasing the amount of cells we produce. This goes hand in hand with significantly pressing down the prices of the cells, helping researchers and clinicians around the world. At Cell Collabs, we believe that what we're aiming for can only be achieved through great collaborations. So, you can read it from our name, and you can see it in the way we work. We're changing the world together with our collaborators and our supporters. From our investors to our suppliers, from our scientists to, to our clinicians, and from within, and within clinical trials, from Cell Collabs production site to patients and people in need of treatment. As a result of this, early next year, we will start our first two clinical trials with the aim to scale up in different regions of the world. We will start with longevity and frailty, moving on to knee arthritis. There is huge demand for these cells and people have been waiting too long. So, let me get back to my original question. What will the world look like if we had a medicine that could treat chronic diseases and the frailty of an aging population? I don't have the answer yet. But by getting treatment to you, you may prolong your lives, treat your knee arthritis and the wounds of the heels of the life you've led, and that might take you into the next era of healthcare. So now you're all wondering, how can you help out? How can you collaborate? Well, what if, what if there was a way to take part in one of these clinical trials? Thank you, Slash, for listening. Take care of yourselves and stay healthy. <laughs>